And with state track and field activities about to get started in just a few hours, the excitement is building. Several thousands from around the state will descend on the Big O. 3 News Now reporter Shante Passmore is live at Burke High School, where all the action will soon be. Hey, Shante. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday to everyone back at home. OK, so people are already starting to show up. OPD here was just here moments ago blocking off this section right outside the stadium. And with it soon, there will be traffic and parking challenges. But first, let's talk about this. We know the competition brings in a lot of buzz and with it some money. Check out your screens right there. You can see a council member tweeting that this event will bring in $5 million to the city of Omaha. That is a lot. People from around the state will converge on Burke Stadium. NSAA predicts we'll see about 25,000 people for this event. And if you're coming out for the meet, then you'll need to prepare yourself, of course. Come early so you can handle the parking. It's not going to, you're not just going to pull right in and find a place to park. It'll take time. Absolutely. Omaha police suggest carpooling while Burke recommends volunteers and spectators use the free shuttle service from West Roads Mall. The shuttle will be in the northeast parking lot and starts running at 7 a.m. And Max, good morning to you. It's our understanding that the first event starts at 9 this morning. Do you have any other parking tips or maybe some places where people can park? Because I know they can park in neighborhoods, but I don't know if it's something you would recommend. It might be difficult. Well, you pretty much covered it. I mean, those are the pretty, pretty much the best things. Uh, carpooling would probably be the best.